Do you wonder if you're exercising hard enough to be effective? I'm going to tell you six ways to know if you're exercising hard enough. I'm Clint Grimes. For fitness tips and effective workouts that you can do at home, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Let's get started. Number one, you're monitoring your heart rate. Whether you're on a cardio machine or doing high intensity interval training, your heart rate should be about 85% of your maximum. To roughly determine your maximum heart rate, subtract your age from 220. An easy way to track this is by using a heart rate monitor. Some people mistake sweating to be the only indicator of working out hard enough, but some people just sweat more. Number two, you can't hold a conversation. A leisurely stroll with a friend is a nice way to pass the time, but not if you expect that activity to help you burn fat. To put it simply, if you can hold a conversation during your workout, you're just not working out hard enough. Short phrases perhaps, but if you're able to belt out a show tune while jogging, you need to reassess your workout plan and maybe your level of shamelessness. Number three, you're a little sore the next day. No pain, no gain. A good way to tell how hard you worked out is to wait a day and see how you feel. When you exercise, you cause microscopic tears in your muscles. The muscles then repair themselves and grow stronger. Basically, you should feel moderate soreness after a workout. If not, you probably didn't stimulate your muscles enough to get results, but not so sore that you can't go about your regular routine. Number four, you alter your workout intensity. Once you've been on a workout plan for a while and aren't becoming as sore or tired, it might be time to up the intensity. If you want to gain muscle mass and definition, start adding more weight. If you're using lighter weights to tone up, add extra reps. If you're doing cardio, try going a little faster or use more interval training. Remember, the more you work out, the more effort it takes to keep making progress. Number five, your cross training. Not only do you need to change the intensity of your workout, but also the variety of what you're doing. Get creative. Fit people don't stick to one regimen, they cross train. If you're doing the same set of squats and bicep curls day in and day out, you're probably creating imbalances in your body, not to mention it's just plain boring. Don't be afraid to mix it up. Start by challenging your body to do something it's not used to doing. Number six, you're seeing physical changes. You won't see results after a week. After all, how long did it take for your body to get to where it is now? But if you've been consistently working out and eating healthily for more than a few months and you haven't noticed even a slight physical change, then you might need to reassess your routine. It should be a slow progression if you're doing it the right way, but a progression nonetheless. The most relevant changes are in body fat percentage and in inches not in weight like this video if you like it and click on this video to learn about 10 healthy foods that won't make you fat that's it that's all see you next time